Aquacade, previously designated Rhyolite, was a class of SIGINT spy satellites operated by the National Reconnaissance Office for the United States Central Intelligence Agency. The National Security Agency NSA was also reportedly involved. The program, also known by SIGADAFP 720 and SIGADAFP 472, respectively, is still classified. During the same period, the Canyon SIGINT satellites were in use with an apparently somewhat different set of capabilities. The name of the program, originally, Rhyolite, was changed to Aquacade. In 1975 following the disclosure of the codeword, Rhyolite, in the trial of Christopher Boyce and Andrew Lee. The Rhyolite, Aquacade satellites, made by TRW, are rumored to have an umbrella-like reflecting dish 20 meters in diameter. They were succeeded by the Magnum, Orion and Mentor series of satellites. A major purpose of the Rhyolite satellites was reportedly the interception of Soviet and Chinese microwave relay signals traffic. During the 1960s to 1970s, much of the long-distance telephone and data traffic in both the US and Eastern Europe was carried by terrestrial microwave relay links, each consisting of a dish antenna on a microwave tower that transmitted a narrow beam of microwaves to a receiving dish in a nearby city. A good deal of the microwave beam would miss the receiving dish and, because of the curvature of the Earth, radiate out into space. By placing a satellite in a geosynchronous orbit at a position in the sky where it could intercept the beam, the U.S. government was able to listen in on Soviet telephone calls and telex cables during the Cold War. <laughs> <laughs> Satellites It is believed that at least four Rhyolite, Aquacade satellites were launched from Cape Canaveral between June 1970 and April 1978 on Atlas Agena D launch vehicles, all of which sported distinctive elongated payload shrouds presumably to house the satellite's large parabolic antenna. Secrecy around the program was tight and the initial Rhyolite mission in 1970 was the first space launch at Cape Canaveral in seven years that reporters were not invited to cover. These were among the final Atlas Agena launches as well as the last use of LC-13 at CCAS. The satellites had a mass of approximately 700 kg and operated in near-geosynchronous orbits over the Middle East. Signals were relayed to a remote NSA Earth station in Australia, Pine Gap, out of range of Soviet detection. From there, they would be encrypted and sent via another satellite to the NSA's headquarters at Fort Meade for analysis. Topic. See also Canyon satellite, a contemporary, near-geosynchronous program with closer ties to the United States Air Force. <laughs>